How are you doing? I remembered a little more. The end won't be brought about by any one person in particular. It's going to happen because there are many who wish for it, almost as if it was decided from the beginning. But isn't it strange that there are those who would wish to bring about the end? True. I guess that's not really something we need to worry about. Plus, I'm not even sure what the end really means yet. Well, enough of that for now. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you today. Soon, the flowers of poison will bloom. Three in the rival garden, and one in your own. I don't know if this has anything to do with the end, but you should be careful. Really? From where I'm standing, it seems like you're surrounded by colorful flowers. I'll let you know if I find out anything else. That's what friends are for, right? Well then, good night. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. It's me. I'm sorry to disturb you, but do you have a moment? Good morning. There's actually something I need to tell everyone, but I think it would be best if you saw it for yourself. So I'd like for all of us to meet in the command room tonight. I'll see you then. Have we received a new mission? I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. is designed to help control his persona. Basically, it's an evoker for dogs. Wait, does that mean Korumaru is going to fight with us? I honestly wasn't expecting this either, but the test results show it's quite possible. In fact, it was actually a request from the chairman. We'll be looking after him here in the dorm. Koro-chan, is this what you want? He says... I'm returning the favor. Man, you're one loyal dog. Hey, sounds good to me. I, for one, welcome him with open arms. The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? All right, I'll take him for a walk. And it's the perfect time, because it's summer break. Yes, it is. You're free to enjoy your vacation, but don't forget about your schoolwork. Summer classes start next week, so don't lose focus just because we have a lot of time off. Uh, summer... wait, what'd you say? Summer classes. Did you not hear about them? We're going to be taking supplemental courses. I've already applied for all of us. I know how difficult it's been to balance both school and our late night excursions. I'm sure you haven't had much time to study, so I apologize for that. The chairman agreed it was a good idea as well. I could have sworn I told Takeba and Yamagishi. Are you serious? First I've heard of it. Oh, um, sorry. I completely forgot to mention it. No way. Hey, you're the one with the worst grades here. Why are you so surprised? Come on! I want to hear it. <laughs> it sucks. 
don't you think? Uh, well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's do our best. Ah, good evening. I just came by to check in on Koromaru. Do you think he'll do well? That's good to hear. Well, given his reputation for loyalty, I wasn't too worried in the first place. If you have any concerns, please feel free to let me know anytime. It's only fair, considering I was the one who requested that Koromaru join the squad. Oh, I'm all for Koromaru joining us. He's totally welcome. I'll even throw in training lessons from the master. Um, I'm pretty sure Koro-chan's already more disciplined than you. Could you even sit still if someone told you to stay? Hey, don't compare me to a dog. I'm totally disciplined. I can follow directions. Kinda. Yeah, you really sold us on it. Anyway, so, Mr. Chairman, uh, about those summer classes. Ah, yes, I heard about Kirijo-kun's plan. It sounded like a good idea, so I went along with it. No, why would you agree to that? Oh, was I being nosy? Oh, I'm missing out on my passionate summer romance. She's disappearing before my eyes. Farewell, my beautiful city girls. Awaiting me by the shoreline. The city or the shores. Pick one. Even if you didn't have classes, you'd probably just bum around the station all day. You should just accept your fate. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, weren't you about to tell us something before he arrived? Hmm? Ah, that's right. Aside from my unnecessary meddling, I do have another request for all of you. Does everyone have a moment? I think it's a good time for you all to get a routine health checkup. You know where Tatsumi Memorial Hospital is, right? Oh, that's where Sonata-senpai was treated before. With how much you've all been fighting lately, it'd be best to stay on top of your physical health. It wouldn't be good if your personas were causing any strain on your bodies, right? I expect it shouldn't be too much of a detour to stop by the hospital after your summer classes. I understand. Still, this is rather sudden. Don't worry too much about it. Like they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Or your side. We'll be doing the checkups individually, one day at a time. You can decide amongst yourselves who goes when. Don't forget to deck up for your checkup. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Oh, maybe bring your evokers in case you need to take any shots. Ah. <laughs> yes. Get on with today's lesson.
So, continuing on. That is... All right. Well... We'll get started. Thanks for being so patient. That just about concludes your checkup. Sorry yours ended up taking so much longer than everyone else's. Oh, glad to hear you say that. Although, we could have done it another time and taken a full day for it. Your persona abilities are rather unusual compared to the others, aren't they? That's why we had to run so many more tests on you. Well, based on how you've performed so far, I don't expect there to be any problems. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. With that in mind, it can't hurt to err on the side of caution. How are you feeling about it? Do you have any concerns about your power? That's understandable. But I don't think there will be any issues with your test results. And based on what I'm hearing from Kirijo-kun's reports, you've been performing just fine. I truly am grateful for everything the team has done, especially you. Things have really changed for the better since you arrived. Our team has grown, and we've even figured out how we can eliminate the dark hour. In a way, you've sort of gotten the clock ticking for us again. It's almost as if we were just waiting for you these past 10 years. <laughs> I'm afraid I can only support you from behind the scenes. But I'll be counting on you to eliminate the four remaining shadows. Now then, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we get you back to the door? Oops, excuse me for a second. Hello? Oh, thanks for your help the other day. Uh-huh. Yes. It's missing from that document? It's urgent? Wait, but, but by today? Iwatodai, Iwatodai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. You're at Iwatodai Station now. It's so late. You were starting to get worried. Um, 
Did you run into any trouble? Oh, I see. I hope everything's all right. I'll let Kirijo Senpai know. We're in the command room right now. I'll go ahead and navigate you back to the dorm. I'm sure you'll be fine, but considering what happened with Koro-chan, I'd rather play it safe. enough to turn my back on such a predator. And on top of that, we have an unexpected guest tonight. Not a very favorable situation, all things considered. So, given this little predicament, how do you intend to partake? So long as you aren't against me, I will allow it. I don't know what our foe is capable of, but I trust you can protect yourself. What a hapless night, is it not? Well then, shall we begin? No! What? Never mind. Hmm, so that's your strategy. You make a good target. What to do? Never mind. Take that! I'm impressed. It's tougher than it looks. Can you dodge this? That was quite the spectacle. But it's time to end this. You made a good target. As a reward for your efforts, let me show you my power. Come! Persona! Here is an offering of some. The finale was surprisingly unsatisfying, wasn't it? Persona ability is truly fascinating. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So, you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. It seems your friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. What is your name? I'll see to it that I remember. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. Are you alright? Did you already defeat the Shadow? Good work, but that was an unnecessary risk you took. You can fill me in on the way back. 
In any case, I'm glad you're okay. I'm looking for. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Oh, my. <laughs> you have my thanks. Very well. Yeesh, this is a scorcher. Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You'd think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so... boring. Hmm? <sighs> What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing interesting here. Out of the way. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? Nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Eh. Oh well. Koromaru-san's solo patrol duty, commonly known as a walk. There were arrangements for Sonata-san to accompany Koromaru-san on his walk today, 
However, the scheduled time has passed, and Sonata-san has yet to return. Horomaru-san's patience has reached its limit. Horomaru-san is requesting that you accompany him instead. Are you available to assist at the moment? You are what they call a lifesaver. Human persona user. Now that is certainly unique. However, my fascination lies more with you. Good evening. There's no need for hostility. Now is hardly the time. Let's have a little chat. Come along. What exactly are you waiting for? Now then, I have a question for you. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? My coat is invisible to fools. <laughs> but of course I'm joking. What a surprise that you would rather ask about me instead of our group. Perhaps this is a sign that we may reach a mutual understanding. In the beginning, we had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the Dark Hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet, you insist on ending the Dark Hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? Is that truly how you feel? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year. And yet, there is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? Do you know what a savior complex is? You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. <laughs> your dog doesn't seem to like your answer. However, self-reflection is a good habit. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power. And yours... Yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That was all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. With that, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Well then, I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet.
over. You just don't know when to give up, do you? I'll come back as many times as I need to. I don't give up that easy. And my answer will be the same every time. I'm not going back. Actually, we got a new team member. Did you know animals can use personas too? Wait, what'd you just say? He's a dog. He lost his master to the shadows six months ago. And he's incredibly loyal too. Up until now, he's been guarding the spot where his master was killed. It's been rough for him, but he's making the most of it. Huh? Oh, it's Sonata-san. Huh? Who's he talking to? I wouldn't want to butt in. We saw someone die right before our eyes, too. It'll be two years this October. How long are you gonna beat yourself up over that? That's why you're always behind the station. Even though you don't actually hang out with anyone there. Doesn't matter. It was my fault. And nothing's ever gonna change that. What does it matter if I come to terms with it? Won't change the past. This isn't like it was with your sister. What happened to Miki was different. Shinji. It's over now. I just... want to forget it ever happened. Two years ago? <sighs> no way. It's him. So, his name is Shinji. Good to see everyone's here. All right, come on in. Excuse me, I hope I'm not interrupting. Huh? Amada-kun? <laughs> no way. Based on our testing results, we've confirmed he has more than enough potential. So, I decided to call this meeting to introduce him to the rest of the squad. Wait, Mr. Chairman, he's only in elementary school. And besides... Besides... what? We've already confirmed he has the potential. With training, he should be a valuable asset to the team. Did he say he was okay with this? Actually, it was my idea to join. I feel like I can help too. And I think I finally understand why I have this power. Hmm? As you can see, it was his own decision. Looking forward to working with you. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. I look forward to working with you as well. Thank you. I'm hoping to learn a lot. <sighs> hey, don't worry, kid. We got your back. It might get tough, but you gotta work hard and stick with it. Understood. Morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Uh, 
it's almost the start of the second semester already. And pretty soon, I'm gonna be a third year. Man, time goes by way too fast. Oh, it's her. And she's John again, huh? You again? Oh, well, but actually, I'm surprised you remember me. I could say the same about you. I mean, your outfit is pretty memorable. <sighs> so, uh, what are you working on? A drawing. Why? Uh, no real reason, I guess. I just thought it's pretty awesome to have something you're passionate about. It's nothing like that. I'm just drawing because I feel like it. Oh. Huh. Well, I still want to see it when you're done. If you don't mind. Oh. Hey. Fancy meeting you here, huh? You're the one who keeps coming back. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You from around here? <sighs> oh, not even listening, huh? Here's. <laughs> Wait, whoa, your hand! What the hell happened? You're bleeding! What's wrong with you? Can't you mind your own business? Are you kidding? I can't just ignore that. Ah, uh, gotta have something. Give me your hand. I can wrap it up with this handkerchief. Why are you panicking? Huh? Who wouldn't be freaking out right now? You gotta get to a doctor. Uh, do you want me to go with you? Huh. You're a weird one. Chidori. Huh? My name. You asked, didn't you, Junpei? I'm almost finished with the drawing. I doubt you'll be able to understand it. But if you want to see it so badly, then you know where to find me. That's 
incorrect. does it for a first day back well you two have perfect timing perfect timing for what hey fuka is i guess ready um what do you think this is how i look now huh why is she wearing a school uniform what's going on here she said she wanted to go to school with us, so I told the others as a joke. But the chairman actually agreed, so now she's gonna start as a second year tomorrow. Seriously? He's down with that? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, if he's cool with it, then I guess it's all right. Besides, I'd say it looks pretty good on her. Maybe even... you. The school camouflage that Fuka-san provided is more than appropriate. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why do you want to go to school? It's not like it's interesting. As the second semester commences, I intend to synchronize my schedule with everyone for maximum efficiency. If I remain here on standby, it could affect our deployment efficiency. To accommodate, I requested reassignment alongside our squad leader. Deployment efficiency, huh? Why do I feel like you being at school would make that even worse? I will make any necessary adaptations as the situation evolves. Uh, sure, you do that. He says, I want to go to school too. Koromaru... No, you definitely have to stay here, okay? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, someone's all ready to go. But hey, do you think Koromaru actually understands what we're doing? Think so? Even if he can use a persona, he's still a dog, you know? Hey, Koromaru! So, which is it? <laughs> huh? Nothing. He said, resolve is shown through actions. Uh, but he's just a dog. What a freaking badass! You are the coolest dog! Um, excuse me. Will you please add me as a member in today's search party? I want to participate in lots of battles and get used to handling my persona. Alright! I hope I can prove myself useful to all of you. Be on your guard! 
Keep it together. Let's get away with this. Let's go! I'll go with it. Never mind.
Good job, everyone! Looks like I'm getting even stronger! Slowly but surely getting used to this place. This would be a fight worth our while. your body to look toned. Don't skimp on your diet. You gotta build muscle. Ooh, a treasure chest! That's our way. I see. Now what do we run into next? This would be a fight worth our while. The same scenery seems to go on forever and ever. We better be careful not to get lost. Korotan spotted the enemy! This is a pretty good lineup you've got here. Nice work. There's a treasure chest over there. Looks like we can head up. Um. I need to get a better grab. Yes. 
class, we have another new transfer student joining us today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. Igis-san? I've never heard a name like that. Maybe she's a foreigner. Let's see, anything else I should know? Hmm? Humanoid tactical weapon? Clearly, that's a mistake. It just goes to show you can't believe everything you read. Yeah! You got that right! Let's see, you can sit, um... Are there any open seats? Oh, there's a spot right next to him. Okay, off you go. Uh, Miss Toriyumi, someone already sits there. He just ditched today. Which means he's not here. So now it's yours. All right, take your seat. The spot is perfect. My highest priority is to be with him at all times. I guess! What is it? Uh, Yukari, why do you stand up? Uh, why? Uh... Good to see everyone's getting along so well. But... Do me a favor and save the drama for after class. Give me a break. There you are. I've got an errand I want you to help me with. Let's go. <sighs> Don't be like that. Come on. You're really starting to piss me off. Things have changed. Sorry, but I'm not taking no for an answer this time. What? This belongs to you. <sighs> There's a new threat. Persona users just like us. <sighs> so? That's not my problem. That's not everything. Amada has joined our team. <sighs> what the hell do you mean? He has the potential, and Ikutsuki-san approved it. He's a Persona user now. I don't believe it. <sighs> Tell me one more thing. Was it his decision to join? Yeah. He came to us. I see. <sighs> then... I guess I'll stick around. So... You're in charge now, huh? I got a question for you. What are you fighting for? I see. Well, you do you. We gotta work together either way. My old room's still empty? Yeah. Chidori, how's your hand doing? Uh. What the? 
there's no scar. Not even a mark? Maybe it wasn't that bad? <sighs> Say, Junpei, what do you do to make yourself feel alive? Uh, I don't know. Breathe, I guess? You know, I can't say I've ever thought about it. How about you, Chidori? Is that how you feel when you draw? I don't know. Most of these are just... scribbles. I don't really... understand myself. Oh. Huh. Hmm. To tell you the truth, there is one thing that makes me feel alive. It's when I sort of... Uh, get to play the hero, I guess? In the darkest hour, unknown to all but a few, the Chosen One stand against the forces of evil. Our hero, Junpei, fights to protect the world from these terrifying monsters. <laughs> well, you get the idea. That's when I feel most alive. Um... This is the part where you're supposed to laugh. So, do you fight all alone? <laughs> hey, I was just kidding around. You fight during a time that no one is aware of, right? That means no one knows what you've been doing. So, you're fighting even though you'll never get any recognition for anything. I'm impressed. I guess I misjudged you. Uh... Really? I didn't think you'd actually believe me. Can you tell me more? You know, you're kind of the weird one here. Hmm. I guess it's okay, but you're sworn to secrecy. Got it? Mm-hmm. So, there's this special power called a persona, and that's what we use to defeat the monsters. But not everyone can use a persona. That's what I meant by the Chosen Ones. My friends are fighting too. And, not to brag, but we haven't lost a single fight since I joined. Sounds like a lot of fun. If you haven't lost a single fight, that must mean you're really strong. <laughs> yeah, sorta. I guess you could kinda say I'm the leader. I mean, without me, things would just fall apart. I gotta tell everyone what to do and stuff, you know? It's a lot of work being in charge. Thank you, Junpei. I had a lot of fun today. Y you did? It's time for me to go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? <laughs> see you tomorrow, huh? So you're the one that decides the battle formation. I want to get back into the swing of things as quickly as possible. You get what I'm saying, right? Alright. This place is just as creepy as I remember. Well, I'm here if you need me. Oh, hello. Chidori wasn't at the station today. Maybe I should check again. Nah, on second thought. I better stay put. The operation's tonight. Hmm. The operation, huh? When it comes down to it, we're fighting to protect her, too. Wow. Thinking about it like that kind of fires me up. Maybe we really are, like, heroes of justice. 
Don't move. Huh? Wait. That voice. Tonight marks the sixth full moon. Have you found the shadow? Yes. It's near Polonia Mall, I think. For some reason, I can't quite pinpoint its location. I'm trying to narrow it down, though. Is that part of its power? Sorry, I'm not really sure about that either. We have enough to go on. Amada, did you find him? No, I can't find Junpei-san anywhere. His backpack isn't here, so I don't think he's been home yet. What is he doing? He knows tonight's a full moon. I'm not picking up his signal anywhere near the dorm either. Should I take more time to look for him, just in case? No, it's okay. You're young. Sometimes you just get in one of those moods. For now, though, we need to focus our attention on the shadow. We can't afford to waste any more time. We need to get moving. Let's go. Hold up. Did Junpei say anything about this? Who knows? Any luck? I only sense a faint presence. It seems so close, but I can't reach it. All right, we can split up and search for it. There's no time to lose, so let's hurry. Wait! Please, I can do it! This is what I'm here for! <sighs> Feel the movement of the Earth through your fingertips. Hear the answer of the wind flow through your hair. Taste the knowledge of the water on your lips. Tell me, Lucia, what shrouds me from the truth? Hey, is she okay? Don't break her concentration. This is... some kind of... web... beneath us? A web? Perhaps it's related to the old power cables underground. Back when the island was still being developed, this is where the main power station was located. Underground cables? Yes. A large number of power cables remain underground in a sprawling network, much like a web. So that's what's interfering with her ability? Thank you, I guess. I figured it out now. It's not that the cables are interfering. The cables themselves have been possessed by the Shadow! They what? So... everything under our feet is part of the Shadow. No wonder you couldn't pinpoint it. It's covering this entire area. H how are we supposed to beat something like that? <sighs> Adding on the ground, huh? I can't believe how easy it was to sneak up on you. Is the rest of your team as oblivious? Damn it! I can't fight back like this! This isn't funny, Chidori. I want you to do something for me. I have orders for you to pass along to your team. You can at least communicate with them, can't you? My team? Orders? Do as I say. And you won't be harmed. All you have to do is call off your operation. Easy, right? And not just the one tonight. All of them. You want me to cancel the operation? No way. You're not one of them, are you? Quit wasting time. So the Shadow controls a whole underground network? This is a problem. We have no means of attack. 
Your notes from previous battles mentioned a shadow that was able to take control of the monorail. I'm guessing this shadow must have its own body, just like that one. Let me see if I can pinpoint it. Buka. Even if we know where it is, we still have to get to it. If it's abandoned, there may still be a way to enter the facility where the cables converge. We'll see. I found it! It's here! In the mall! In here? It's inside a small chamber underground. It's rectangular, so I assume it's man-made. Is it some sort of basement? Wait a minute. I overheard the manager of Escapade a while back. He was saying the power supply has been acting up lately. There was a big outage because of it that forced him to cancel some important event. An outage? Yeah. Mentioned they remodeled the basement into a control room a while ago. Maybe we should take a look. That's gotta be it! Good job, Yamagishi. All right, as soon as we're ready, we'll make our move. Yes. That's the shadow's core. The cables are feeding into its body, so it might use the electricity to attack. Please. Be careful! So this is one of those huge shadows. Huh. Well, not like it changes what we usually do. I'll help too. This large shadows are kind of the hermit. Watch out for attacks that use electricity. I'll go with. You're 
fight for.
shadow is charging us now!
Persona's ready. I need your help! Nemesis! Everyone? Oh, by the way, I think I sensed Junpei kun earlier. He's back at the dorm, but something felt off. The chairman's there too, so he should be okay, but we should hurry back, just in case. Hmm. It looks like they've completed their operation. What? You can tell? I see it. Through Medea's eyes. Medea? My... friend. Hidori? That's not important. Why didn't you call off the operation? Is your mission worth your life? Dying is what people fear the most, is it not? Well... I have never actually given anyone orders before. They wouldn't listen to me. Even if I tried. You see, uh, I'm not really the one in charge. So, you were lying earlier? Why? I don't understand. Hey, can you tell me one thing? Was it all just an act? Hmm? The way we met at the station, that cut on your hand, the drawings. Were you just setting me up? Now that I think about it, a real cut wouldn't have disappeared that fast. <laughs> I see how it is. That was... Junpei! They're back already? An evoker? She's a persona user? Medea, come. Sorry, but we can't let you use this. What's all the fuss of... When did she... I guess, restrain her. Understood. Uh, Medea! I... I didn't even sense her until now. This is the only thing I can do, and yet... Even we couldn't sense her. She must have the ability to conceal her presence. I certainly didn't have the slightest clue she was here. I have a number of questions for you. Are you a member of that group called Strega? Uh, I'm not... afraid... of dying. Shidori? Medea, I'm... <sighs> it looks like she's too emotionally unstable for an interrogation. Let's check in on her later, after she's had some time to calm down. I'll go ahead and arrange a hospital room for her. She'll have to be placed under watch, but I'm sure she understands. Shidori, 